Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Chasing is coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. Great time to be live, and uh, we're going to be talking about why. Why is Dogecoin up? Why is crypto up? Why is Bitcoin up? And what can we expect for Bitcoin? Has the consolidation ended? Could we be seeing $50,000 coming in? Should we, could we be seeing a 0.085 or 8.5 cents coming in for Dogecoin? We're going to be talking about that and much, much more out there, guys. So don't forget to go down there, smash the likes like crazy. Show some freaking love. Lick those likes, guys. I remember none of this is financial advice. So bonk, bonk on the head to all the freaking trolls out there, all the Debbie dollars, all the people that hate Dogecoin. Dogecoin could be the cryptocurrency of the universe, guys. Just a matter of time, titty, titty, time, time. And remember, Elon Musk, he wants to turn X app into a social financial platform, guys. The first of its kind out there, guys. So it's a great time to be alive. Go down there once again, smash the likes. Don't forget to subscribe and show lots of love for the OG. Pooh, I appreciate it. It's feel of love, guys. Lots of love out there. I appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so what's going on right now? Uh, do go back and follow all my videos, guys. I did talk about uh, some of the reasons why we could be seeing uh, Dogecoin go to $1. Some of the catalysts, the road to $1. Go back and go back out. Watch. Get out of there. Watch that video out there. OG, bump, bump. Misdirection. Misdirection out there. Uh, let's see what's going on right now with the uh, the pre market. So the pre markets are are kind of usual out there. So I, I'm anticipating uh, that we could see the uh, markets going up. So that that would be huge. That would be a huge catalyst. What do we got going on today, uh, February eighth, right now in the USA? We got jobless claims coming out, wholesale in, inventory. So nothing major. But the big one, the big announcement is going to be core CPI. That is going to uh, help us to understand where Jerome. Powell is going to be in terms of interest rates. Is he going to be hawkish or is he going to be dovish? Let's see. Uh, I mean, if the interest rates suddenly drop, that's going to be good for the U.S. economy. That's definitely going to be pumping crypto. That's going to be pumping everything right freaking now, guys. So, yeah, so far, not too shabby. It's uh, Thursday, February 8th here in Asiaville, and we are seeing that Bitcoin is up 5%. We're seeing that the markets are up. Everything is... Everything is sweet right now. Sweetie, sweet, sweet out there. We're also seeing right now that BTC is above 44,000. And I'm going to tell you, if we can get past uh, this resistance level, we're going to talk about that in a second. We could see BTC obviously moonshot, moon freaking shotty shot shot to 50,000. We're seeing that Ethereum is up as well. BNB, Solana, and Avalanche are up as well. I mean, Solana is up 6%. Uh, Aval AVAX is up uh, 9%. Not too shabby. Uh, out there, guys. So, not AVAX, ADA. Sorry, my bad. ADA. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, don't sleep on ADA. I mean, for me, from, from my perspective, uh, some of my biggest holdings are in ADA, Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and diversification is key, guys. I've been telling you this, I've been chirping and chiming for a ton of years on that, guys. And uh, yeah, my, my uh, on February 5th, by the way, my uh, YouTube channel's uh, over three years old. Wow. Three years old. I've been making videos, guys. Ah, OG in the house, guys. Fear and greed is at 66. Let's just, let's, let's dive in. Let's dive into the crypto markets. Uh, so far, the total market cap is at 1.7 trillion. Not too bad. And we're up 2.37%. So it's a good day. It's absolutely a good day. We're seeing the crypto is up. Uh, Bitcoin is up 6.11%. 6 Not too bad. We're seeing uh, last 24 hours. Bitcoin is up. So... Things are coming up. I, I'm really hoping this is a consolidation. We're going to jump into the T in a second. We'll talk some more about that. BNB is up. Solana is up uh, 6.36%, $101, almost 102 Not too bad. Uh, XRP. You know, some people have been talking about XRP, and, uh, you know, some people were giving some forecasts that we could see XRP at $3. I think there's a possibility. Absolutely a possibility that could happen. Cardano is also on fire right now. Uh, there's no specific reason uh, that Cardano and uh, the other old coins are on fire, other than the fact that Bitcoin is pumping right now. So uh, let's let's get. We're seeing that Dogecoin uh, has been kind of like meandering between like 0 0.079 and eight cents, guys. Uh, so it's just kind of it's it's up, it's up. Trust me, it's up. But it's just a little bit range bound, tight range bound. It doesn't like tight. Everyone loves tight. Uh, so what are we seeing right now with uh, Bitcoin? Once again, I have not changed this. This uh, this uh, sloping resistance and a sloping re uh, uh, support, okay? Resistance and support. And we are seeing that Bitcoin is trying to attempt out. Uh, and if we can if we can crack a lock and pass there, 
I think then our next shot is going to be around 48,000. So 48,000 uh, out there. And if we can get above 44,000 and stay there for one day, then that's going to confirm the breakout. Uh, yeah, then we're going to go into this channel here, guys. So let's hope we can get into this channel, -y channel, channel for uh, Bitcoin. Let me just let me just extend this here for you. I'm extending it. I'm not touching it. I'm just extending it. Uh, yeah, and it will also extend this one too. So that's going to act as our support uh, here as we go up. And let's see. Let's see if this happens. Uh, so I think it's looking pretty good. So if we take a look at Ethereum right now, we had this W pattern that was forming yesterday. We are starting to break out of this W pattern. So if we if if we measure from the if we measure from here to here to the base, we should be looking at a probable probable pump of around about this much. So hopefully we can take that from here, and hopefully we can see twenty six hundred. So I'm thinking twenty six hundred coming in for Ethereum pretty soon. Now, let's talk about Dish. Now, we have this area of confluence. Uh, I did tell you that we need to break above this before the 11th of February. So check on that one. Uh, so that is pretty good. So Dogecoin will not be collapsing down to this area. It's not going to go down to 0737. No way, Jose. Uh, it is also not going to collapse down to 0771 as well. Uh, we're fighting it out right now. So you know, worst case scenario for me, uh, from my perspective, is we're probably we worst case is zero zero point zero seven eight. But I'm thinking that we could get a nice breakout. I think once the U.S. markets open and the people in America wake up, they're gonna we're gonna see a pump. We're absolutely gonna see a pump out there uh, for Dogecoin. So this is from the coach, and what he's saying is Dogecoin is looking honey as yeah, baby. Because we have this uh, on the one hour, we see uh, a nice breakout to the upside uh, on this one hour descending triangle. So I'm I'm feeling pretty pretty excited about that. Let's take a look at the one hour time frame. Hopefully my chart uh, doesn't go all messy out there. So we have seen that we did have a golden cross as well happening uh, for Dogecoin on the hourly. So that's not too shabby, not too shabby. And uh, like I said, we got some resistance right here at 0, uh, 0803, and right now Doge is. Uh, trading just above the 0803 at 04. So not too bad. Golden cross right here. Uh, this is also one of the reasons why we could be seeing things pumping as well. So not too shabby. Not too shabby out there. So yeah, those coins look at honey is beep out there. Yeah, way to go, coach. Love it. Uh, we're seeing right now that uh, Dogecoin is at 0, uh, 08015. Not too bad. Market cap is up. And uh, the volumes are also picking up as well. Good, good. Who's in the money for Doge? 46 in and 37 out. Also, we're going to be talking about why Doge going, why crypto is pumping right now. And guys, four things that could uh, uh, bring Doge to a dollar fast. I did talk about it in my uh, morning video. Go back and watch that. But I'll just recap. X payments, X wallets, X tipping, and X Doge acquisition. So those are the three main catalysts that could absolutely bring uh, Doge to a dollar. So payments we know about. X wallets we know about, uh, the, the, you know, this wallet uh, could live live on uh, top of, uh, you know, X platform and tipping. We all know what about tipping jars. So, yeah. And acquisition of uh, Elon Musk of uh, a substantial part of Doge. Let's see, guys. Let's absolutely see. Yeah. Dogecoin will be the currency of the universe soon, which is the first planet that Doge will be a currency of. I think it's going to be the moon. I think it's going to be the moon. Uh, Dogecoin kicking over into overdrive as Doge wallets grow fast. So if you take a look at the sentiment data, we're seeing that uh, Dogecoin uh, wallets, uh, Dogecoin uh, network has kicked into the overdrive with 4,114k more non-zero wallets appearing in just two weeks. Now remember, this is a little bit, you know, this is kind of giving you warm and fuzzy out there. But in fact, this is about Dogeinals and inscriptions. That is why we're going up. That's why we're getting, we're seeing a lot of bloatware right now on the uh, Dogecoin blockchain, and uh, hopefully we can have a fork and that will alleviate that. Uh, also talking about SpaceX, I did talk about SpaceX yesterday uh, in this one, and I roasted uh, Samuel Reed, a new one out there, ripped him a new one, ripped him, ripped, ripped him, ripped him hard. Uh, Doge is sending SpaceX to the moon, sets new launch date. So some people were, I, I read this, and uh, somebody, some, some, some chucklehead, said that, uh, you know, it's been scheduled late 2023. We know that, got delayed, da, da, da. 
Uh, Doja X bands launch day after the two scheduled missions by Intuitive Machines. The I am one is not is going up, but it's not going with 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 uh, with Doge. Now he did say in an interview that it's going to be six to nine months before we see this happening. Okay, so I don't know freaking why it takes so so long three years to build a satellite. So February fifteenth is that that day's not going to happen. I am one will launch, but no Doge, no Doge. So Samuel Reed. Why does it take three years to build a satellite? Come on, you're importing from Mars or what? Come on, man. So let's look at the top reasons why Dogecoin and Bitcoin and major altcoins are pumping right now. Okay. So top reasons. The first reason is there is a high crypto to stock market correlation. So assuming that the crypto market still holds the long-term correlation with top tier stock in this like NASDAQ and S&P 500, the digital assets industry should play the catch-up game in the near future. Notably, the correlation between stock indexes and crypto market has been strong in the past few months till the end of January. So what we're saying is, you know, there's a correlation. If the if the broader markets go up, crypto goes up. Uh, renewed altcoin demand via spot ETF. So, guys, we do have the spot uh, ETF for Ethereum. It's coming. It's coming. It will pump. Uh, definitely will pump uh, Bitcoin. Also, too, we got general bullish sentiment. Uh, Bitcoin is bullish. The sentiment is positive. More people are aping it. More people are kind of thinking, yeah, it's going to happen, guys. So, yeah, we're seeing surges because correlation. We're seeing surges because uh, uh, Ether Spot ETF is coming soon and a general bullish sentiment. So, you can see here the overall sentiment for crypto and Bitcoin is 66. So, not too shabby. Things are looking. Things are looking pretty good out there, guys. I don't forget, we're 69 days from the halving. Nice, nice. Bad news for China. Now, as China's economy tanks, I think the Chinese, the China, China, uh, do my Donald Trump in, in Russia, China, uh, you know, we're going to see a lot of Chinese start to, uh, you know, move some of their assets into crypto. So, that's particularly Bitcoin. It's a huge hedge against inflation. I think we're going to see inflation hit hard. Uh, looks like Bitcoin jumps its highest value in nearly four weeks with 1K Bitcoin wallets holding over 40% of the supply. So Bitcoin is now above 44,500, 44, which is okay. Uh, for the first time since the ETF hangover retrace began. Yeah, hangover retrace. Ah, uh, plan fine on the head back on January 12th. This balance is partially attributed to the risk rise in 1K plus Bitcoin wallet holdings. Their collective holdings are the highest level in 14 months. So we're seeing more whales buying up the bitty. Good news for Thailand. Good news for OG. Thailand will exempt Bitcoin and cryptocurrency transactions from value-added tax in a bid to encourage the development of digital asset hub in the country. Nice. Nice. So I know where to offer my crypto now. In Thailand, the, green, the big mango out there. Also, breaking, breaking records. It looks like uh, breaking records. Uh, new record. Bitcoin hash rate. 500 and it's a big number okay wow highest in history guys i love it you love it let's go hash let's go hash hash rate also cardano is also showing signs of life right now as well a substantial uh, daily close above 053 could lead to the start of a 32 percent rally that could take uh ada up to 68 cents so if we take a look at ada right now we can see that yeah it could happen it could freaking happen sure sure is Sure, it can happen. I believe it. So we're almost above 53 cents right now. So get ready for a 32% pump. I could do it. I mean, you know, some of the third biggest holdings I have is also ADA, guys. Also, Bitcoin weekly close above uh, 44 would be a complete game changer. So we can get a weekly candle. If we can get a weekly candle uh, above 44, it's going to be huge, guys. And this could signal a nice pump to the upside. Guys, don't forget, if you got your crypto on a centralized exchange, get it off there. Do it. Uh, you don't own the keys. You do not own the crypto, my friends. So go down there. Check out my link uh, for my ledger. I would appreciate it. I appreciate it. Bitcoin, when in doubt, zoom out. I've been telling you this for three years, three freaking years. Wendy Trendy is your friendy. Zoom out and you will see that overall, uh, the overall trend for Bitcoin is up. And it's going to continue to go up. Remember, ARK Investment I predicted like $2.5 million Dogecoin, right? Wow. Wow. Also, we're seeing that uh, right now uh, with 102 million Bitcoin last transaction with 42.5 range price range, it would it would be surprising to see Bitcoin 
sustain and drop below this critical support. So 42.5 is now a new critical support out there. And I don't think we're going to go lower than that. Conserve, con conversely, the main resistance level to monitor is 47 and 56. So I think we've got some, we got some huge support around about 42.560. Uh, and we, our next big resistance, 47.30. So I think 47.30 uh, puts us right around 47.30, puts us around about uh, 47, uh, puts us around about 40, right there. That's our next resistance, okay? Uh, I think we're going to get up there, guys. I think we're going to get up there 47.30, I think around about, around about that area right there is our next resistance level. Let's just park that in. So that's what I'm thinking. You guys should be thinking the same thing. So, also look, uh, if you take a look at what's going on with Plan B, uh, stock to uh, stock to, blah, blah, blah. Plan B, realized price, stock to flow model, realized prices are increasing and Bitcoin is above them all. Okay, right now, that's bullish. Also, five million realize five million realized price currently forty thousand dollars acts like the floor. So what Plan B is saying, based on his model, the floor for Bitcoin is 40, uh, acts like a floor for dips in bull markets. So what we could be seeing is that the maximum dips we could see is never below 40 again. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, Bitcoin above 44,000. Next is 46. Don't forget, we've got that resistance. We've got this resistance right freaking here at 47, guys. So let's let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Let's absolutely get it. Uh, what else? What else I got for you, guys? Don't forget to go and follow me on my Twitter, 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 Twitter. I appreciate. It. Uh, that's kind of all I got uh, out there. So, yeah, I'm going home. Still in the office, as you can see. I'm tired, kind of hungry too. So, guys, be blessed. I think it's going to be a good, good day for crypto. Crypto is going to go up. Hopefully, the broader markets do some pumpage. Hopefully, we get those you up, guys. It's a great freaking time to be alive. Peace out. I'll see you next one. Much well.